Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for tuning in and for your interest in our PPE degree here at Queen's University. Uh, my name is Stefan Andreasen, and I'm the disciplinary lead for politics and international relations in our school. And I've also been involved with the uh, PPE degree as convener in the past and teaching on key modules relating to the degree over the years uh, since its inception. So I wanted to share a bit about what the degree is all about and why I think uh, it's one you should really consider. Okay. And uh, before we get going talking about the degree, there's a few other things to mention up front. And one of those, of course, is that we are a member as Queen's University Belfast of the Russell Group of top research universities uh, in the UK. We also rank very well on a variety of national and international rankings that I think are quite important for you to consider in terms of the value of a degree, your prospects when you graduate and so on. And we are in a global company that we're quite uh, happy to be part of uh, in that regard. And you will see some of those key rankings on the screen here. The other thing to say is that I've been at Queen's now for quite some time, and it's been really, really exciting to see the degree to which our university has committed to and invested in great facilities across our university. So if you haven't already visited uh, Belfast and Queens and you come to our university, I think you'll see that we have a great range of facilities that make this a really thriving and exciting place to be and to study. And you see a few examples of that on the screen here. Okay, now to uh, the degree um, and what I will be discussing for you today. I have a brief outline here on the screen. So first of all, I wanna say a little bit about the history and impact and recognition of the PP degree, because it sort of is formed in a very specific moment in time. There's a quite specific historical context out of which the degree emerges. And I think that's useful for you to know. Uh, I'll speak a bit about the uh, sort of general intellectual content that's associated with the degree. And then of course, we'll spend the remainder talking about what the PPE degree at Queen's is all about, the value of our degree, and of course, what the degree structure looks like. And we'll finish at the end with a few testimonials from some of our great students that I've gotten to know over the years. Okay, so the first thing to say is that um, the degree comes again out of a specific moment in time. So up until the early 20th century uh, in the UK, um, the passport, uh, if you will, into public life, the professions and so on, was very much studying classics. So you were reading Latin, ancient history, Greek and so on. Um, come the 20th uh, century with uh, industrial revolution preceding it, uh, major changes to social structure, social reforms and really a modernizing society. The sense was that we need a more modern degree to equip what were at the time the ruling classes, if you will, for administering uh, government, the empire and beyond. So in the 1920s, uh, Oxford, uh, the degree on which we humbly model ourselves, created the classic uh, politics, philosophy and economic degrees, a so-called modern greats that was to be an alternative to the classics. And ever since the PP degree has very much become what we might think of as an interdisciplinary foundation for modern social science. The other thing maybe to mention briefly is that as such, this is a degree, um, given that it doesn't have the same historical uh, pedigree as the distinct degrees that it is made up of, i.e. politics, history, and philosophy, it is nevertheless, since its inception in the 1920s, a degree that is very much a known currency in the halls of power in Britain, in the English-speaking world and beyond. Uh, and you can see that by, for example, the fact that it's a degree that is very much well represented among British prime ministers, uh, leading politicians in the UK and beyond. Uh, I've included on here, for example, uh, leaders like Benazir Bhutto, the first female president of Pakistan, the current Pakistani president Imran Khan, who also happens to be a very good cricketer, and others besides. 
The degree has also had a very big impact in the top echelons across academia, business, and other areas of public life, whether it's um, great 20th century philosophers like Isaiah Berlin or John Gray, uh, media moguls like Rupert Murdoch, former US Supreme Court justices like Stephen Breyer, the, public, uh, the late public intellectual Christopher Hitchens, um, well-known um, uh, political advisors like Seamus Milne and so on. So the bottom line is not so much whether these are people you see as your role models, people you necessarily want to emulate, but just simply to recognize that the degree is a very known currency in public life, in government structures, in the business world, and so on. Indeed, it's a degree that has become so influential uh, in this country that the BBC felt it necessary to run a documentary in 2010 called Why Does PPE Rule Britain? So that gives you a little bit of background about the degree. Um, and the way I think about it is that the best thing you could say about PPE is that it teaches you really how to navigate the corridors of power, right? And, and the idea is not, of course, that we want to churn out uh, Sir Humphrey clones, as it were, right? But that we equip students with their knowledge in politics, in philosophy, uh, and in economics, with the kind of interdisciplinary skills that are very, very valuable to function in public life and to exist in critical decision-making uh, positions. And if uh, Yes Minister is, for those of you who are a, a generation a bit younger than me, is something you can't relate to, I would very much suggest that you go on YouTube or wherever you can find those episodes and have a look. And I think um, the PP degree is one that equips you very well to deal with the sort of challenges that Sir Humphrey and others face on a daily basis. All right. So that's some general background context about what the PP degree is all about. The best way I can describe or to sum it up is to say that the degree really is an intellectual foundation and cornerstone of contemporary social science. And as I've just outlined, it has very much a rich heritage and tradition to back it up. And importantly, what I think you get out of doing a PP here at Queens is this expertise in and learning how to navigate that real world overlap of issues in both business and policy communities, which you can apply in a very wide range of professional careers and trajectories that you may embark on after you leave here. Okay. Now, in terms of some additional details then on the intellectual content of the PP degree, um, we start very much with the basics, the big intellectual debates that have shaped modern life. So we start and we talk about the great debates between liberalism here represented by Adam Smith and socialism represented by Karl Marx that predominate in the 19th and early 20th century. We also deal with the big debates about how to organize our societies economically and politically and socially that are manifested in the big debates between John Maynard Keynes and Friedrich von Hayek and others. So this really is a degree that allows you to gain a strong understanding of that intersection between the three disciplines that comprise the PPE and how debates in those disciplines have shaped the modern world. And this is as we should expect, in the sense that, of course, Adam Smith is a philosopher, um, um, Karl Marx is an economic historian, Friedrich von Hayek and um, John Maynard Keynes work very much at the intersection between philosophy and economics. And that is quite representative of the intellectual heritage we build on, as we, of course, tap into much more contemporary and diverse ranges of politically, economic, and philosophical debates, okay? So that is just to remind everyone that we may begin with the classics and we provide a very strong intellectual foundation, but what we also study on the PP degree is a whole host of local, regional, national, and truly global political 
uh, economic and philosophical phenomena, right? So whether you're interested in UK politics, uh, the politics of the United States and how it has been shaped by the Great Recession and the COVID pandemic and so on, or whether you're interested in what the COVID pandemic is doing to uh, global rivalries between superpowers, or whether you're interested in how we are collectively trying to square the economic uh, and political challenges of meeting climate change and dealing with the philosophical uh, questions that underpin how we think about our role vis-a-vis -vis the environment and in terms of our responsibilities to future generations and so on, or whether you're interested in, as I am, how the American shale revolution has reshaped geopolitics and relations uh, with the Middle East. All of this is part of the kind of exciting contemporary questions that we deal with on the various modules that comprise the PPE degree. Okay. And to say then a few things specifically about PP here at Queen's, the first thing I think to mention is that it's the premier degree of its kind, this island. It's a demanding degree, as is partly reflected by the entry requirement. And of the pure PP degrees on this island, I would say ours is the one that has the highest entry requirement, uh, is well established, and certainly can compete with anything else that is on offer. It's a well established program. Uh, the first intake was in 2009 which is nice because it also means that we can now increasingly see trends and trajectories over the years in terms of how each graduating cohort is doing as they move on in life from their studies at Queen's. And I think in that regard, we have some really exciting stories to tell. And indeed, the one thing I would like to emphasize is that what we have seen on our PP degree here at Queen's is consistently strong student performance and outcomes. In fact, many of our PP students regularly win prizes in the school and in the faculty and the university uh, to recognize their academic achievement. Uh, and on the whole, I would say it is a reasonably small and coherent cohort of students that work well together and that all really spur each other to each other to achieve. So there's a degree of competitiveness uh, in the good sense of that word uh, that really spurs everyone on the degree to achieve. And that's been really pleasing to see over the years. Uh, we also have a very active PPE student society. Uh, as a former convener, I've tried to keep my nose out of most of their social activities, uh, which from what I gather are lots of fun. But they also organize uh, talks, intellectual uh, debates. Uh, there has in the past been trips down to the annual uh, Economic Society Conference in Dublin and so on. So it's a really kind of thriving social and intellectual environment to be a part of. And I would say that our students who have graduated, our alumni, have done a good job at networking with each other and keeping in touch uh, post-graduation, uh, which I think is very, very valuable for the students that come out of our university with a PP degree. The other thing to say is that we have the expertise and staffing in our school that makes it particularly well suited to providing this degree. At many universities, uh, the three subjects are split up in separate schools. We do have the advantage, which is of some help, uh, certainly administratively, of having both philosophy and politics under one house, as it were. And we have a very good relationship with the Queen's Management School that, of course, provides the economics component of this degree. We also have a vocational element to the degree, which is an optional internship in the final year. Uh, this is an internship that not everyone can be guaranteed. You have to apply for it. There's an interview process and so on. But in general, I think it's fair to say that given the strong performance of PP students on the whole, they have been quite successful uh, when they have sought to avail themselves of the internship opportunity. The last thing to say here then is that, as I hinted at before, 
we have a high entry requirement. It's three A's plus a grade B in GCSE level mathematics. That's required for all our students coming in. And that sort of sums up, I think, the general aspects of what the degree is all about here at Queen's. Uh, but I wanted to say a bit more about how we teach um, the PPE degree uh, before we get to the degree structure itself. And looking at trying to come up with a sort of brief and succinct way to describe what our PPE degree is all about, I have sort of come up with this idea that it provides you intellectual versatility and dexterity. That might sound like a bit of a mouthful, but I think that that sums it up quite well. Um, because you do get an important grounding in all the three core disciplines, politics, philosophy, and economics. And that's very valuable because from economics, you get an understanding of real life economic opportunities and constraints and how they shape political decision making. From philosophy, in addition to uh, learning logic and all the things that go with that, you get a great understanding of really the deeper philosophical questions that shape how we make economic and political decisions. And of course, from the politics component, you get that understanding of how power in society is channeled into decision making and how political decisions in turn shape what we see as feasible or achievable or desirable economic and philosophical choices. So together, again, it's this sense of intellectual versatility and dexterity that I think is so important because you do get a grounding at university level mathematics, philosophy and politics with this degree. So it's a demanding degree. Again, it's partly reflected in the high entry requirement, which I think is a good thing in terms of how prospective uh, employers look at what you have learned and what you've gone through to graduate with a degree in PPE. Um, you get three for the price of one. I suppose that's one way of putting it, a multi-dimensional lens on the various social phenomena that you're interested in and that you study and try to understand, which I think is valuable. Um, the range of skills then, as I've already hinted at from the three disciplines, are something that taken together is quite valued by employers. And again, going back to the history of the degree and the fact that it is very much a known currency in the so-called corridors of power, it is a there's a high prestige and brand recognition uh, associated with the PP degree internationally. Okay, and finally then, we try as much as we can to emphasize student choice on this degree. And so it can be designed in that sense to suit your needs and requirements. You can specialize, if you will, more so in one of the three disciplines that comprise the degree as you go along through the, the three years or you can more sort of emphasize equal amounts of each if you so choose. And that takes us to the degree structure. Now, this is to some extent a bespoke degree. You do have to learn to wrap your head around three distinct university level subjects, which means that we do have to emphasize some important requirements, uh, especially up front. So in first year, you take two required economics modules, one philosophy core module, one politics core module, and you have two choices, two optional modules. In fact, if you choose to join us, your first semester, conveniently, arguably, uh, here at Queen's, uh, is all comprised of core modules. So you are not choosing any options. They both come in second semester of your first year. Uh, to be fair, I think students recognize the need of this to get the proper grounding in the three disciplines. And I've not been aware of any complaints in that regard uh, over the years. I think students find that quite useful. And then they can start thinking about options for second semester. In year two, we do something very important in that we require that you take two core interdisciplinary modules called Democracy, Ethics and Economics and politics of the devolved UK. 
The latter is always co-taught by a member of politics and a member of the Queen's Management School, so someone in economics. And those are two bespoke modules that are created specifically for the PP degree to help you integrate, right, in a very explicit fashion, all three constituent disciplines of the degree into these two modules. So they do a very important job in sort of synthesizing what the PP is all about. You then take two more required modules, one from economics, one from philosophy. And again, as in first year, you have two optional choices. In final year then, at level three, uh, things really open up. And you have the choice to do six modules over the year, which uh, where at least one module has to come from each of the three disciplines, or you can take, you can do a dissertation, you can apply for and do the internship if you're offered a space, or you can do a, a study abroad semester in Europe or in the United States and take four modules on top of that. That is because the dissertation, internship and study abroad are all weighted differently than our single modules. Right? And if you go for that option, at least one module has to come from two of the three disciplines. Okay. And finally, uh, that sums up uh, what the degree is all about here at Queen's. Uh, I thought the best place to end is with a few words from some of our really great students that have been with us uh, on this degree over the years, students that I've gotten to know and had the pleasure to teach and supervise and that have done really well for themselves uh, since they have left Queen's. And so Ed Livingston, who graduated in 2013 and now works as a corporate lawyer in London with Fox Williams, uh, I think what he has to say here about the good relationships between students and staff, the relatively small intake, which means that you have a sense of coherent identity that develops for each PP cohort and so on, is something that's really valuable and something that I've heard many of our students who have gone through the program mention as something really positive. Um, likewise, uh, Aisha Sobi, who graduated in 2016, who then took a job as an intern with the Bank of England and is now pursuing her PhD at the University of Cambridge, really talks also, I think, about the value of a close-knit cohort of students that work well together. Um, so there's some similar sort of um, positives about the course that she articulates. And most recently, Philippa Mannerings, who was the winner of our PPE prize this summer for the best graduate on the degree, uh, talks about the fact that the PPE doesn't teach you what to think, but how to think that you're treated with respect here at Queen's. Uh, and I think what she has to say about the sort of intellectual foundations that the degree provides is really, really positive. And Philippa is uh, on her way to do a uh, MA at the University of Sheffield. So that's a few, uh, albeit brief, uh, comments from some of our great students that have been with us over the years that I hope gives you some sense of flavor of what it's like to study here. The last thing I would like to say is that I do hope um, you consider us. And if you have more questions, uh, I'm easy to find on our web pages. You're free to drop me an email at any time. Um, you also have uh, faculty support that you can email directly about any other wider questions about applying to Queens and how to study here. Uh, and various requirements and so on uh, that you can avail of. And that's really it. Uh, so thank you very much for listening. And I hope you consider Queen's and I will see you on our PP degree at some point. Thank you.